it's a one of the spatial function in the I Internet Explorer. And there are some else in Google, like um, I can type in number of homes on a unit home. <laughs> what? So that's uh, <laughs> kind of funny <laughs> if you are so boring, so bored to find, type in that kind of words, then you can find out the real the result. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, so that's a good. So, uh, do you know Picasa, uh, the Google's <laughs> picture software? I didn't mind about the content, but if you can press Control Alt, uh, Control Shift Y. <coughs> control Shift Y. And Y. So what you will see is this. Yeah. So it's quite funny. And um, think in this way. Isn't it good that you buy Excel and it comes with a free game inside it? Is that good? Uh, somehow it's good, but think about this way. If they can embed some spatial function in the computer, is it possible for them to embed the uh, evil or malicious source code in the software? That's possible. So let, let's, uh, let's uh, imagine that if Kim Jong-il in North Korea uh, put this nuclear document in the computer, and the computer is the Windows computer, Maybe Microsoft can cooperate with CIA and find out if they can uh, get the nuclear documents from Kim Jong Il. But if CIA is interested about you, then they can possibly find out your personal data on your computers. So that's really not very good for, for you. So I would say if uh, you feel you have uh, personal safety issues, then you should use Linux or other open source softwares. So that's one of the reasons why we should use open source software. Uh, there are other uh, advantages. For example, usually these open source software are free of charge, that you don't need to pay money to have this software, and that's good. And usually they have they will fix the bugs, which is the computer failures that in your computers. So, you, um, like in Windows XP, there are several computer bugs in the operating systems, and they don't have time to fix them. So you usually have to wait for a long time for for to up to get an upgrade of the patches. That's not good. But in open source software world, because people have a sub the source code, if you find out there's a possible uh, errors in the software, then you can fix it by yourself. Any questions so far? Okay, so let's move on to the create comments. So we have open source for the software. Uh, what about if I want to publish my uh, documents, my books, uh, free of charge? How do I protect my copyright? But at the same time, I want to make it free of charge. We can use Creative Commons to protect, kind of, uh, protect your copyright. But at the same time, you can. But at the same time, like, you can uh, do something what you want. So. One example in Creative Commons is Wikipedia. You can read it, you can edit it, you can also uh, download it. And um, for some of the locations in Creative Commons, you can also uh, sell it if they allow you to do it. So what can we do? Well, what kind of uh, media we can we do with the Creative Commons? Actually, uh, including the articles, the books, the music, and uh, movies, animations, they all can be uh, published in a Creative Commons license. Yeah. So, 
that's pretty much what I want to talk about today. Um, I hope that after this talk, you'll be able to uh, publish your own work in the Creative Commons license. And uh, good luck. Any questions? Yeah. Where would we get where you can we really get the license? Basically, uh, if you have a book, you can put, uh, this also appears online. You can type in Creative Commons, you can find license, and you can put the content of license into your book in the front page, or in the second page of the book, then it is protected by this license. Yeah. yeah. Why they do that? I mean, why they release their software for free? Um, so why do they make their software for free? Because they believe by making their software uh, free and um, open, the whole world can benefit. Like, you know, like uh, if you can make the software public, then anyone find the, pro the troubles in the software can fix it. Or if you cannot fix it, you can report it, and someone else will uh, fix it for you. And because people believe that freedom is important, so it's kind of a reason. Yeah. Any questions? Yes. Do you uh, do you work with open source stuff? Do you do open source programming? Or? Um, I'm kind of in this uh, area, mm -hmm. but I don't get paid for this. Mm -hmm. I just do it for fun. Right. Because I. Uh, by doing this, you feel the, uh, the accomplishment, mm -hmm. and you feel uh, successful. And do so, you collaborate with people all around the world? Yes, right. Um, we can use the internet as a media to collaborate with uh, people all around the world. So that's, that's one time I got a message from uh, people from uh, France or Italy, and he asked me to help him because they found a software that I wrote had problems. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Any questions? Yes. You said that there can be like hackers in the proprietary software. Yeah. But how can you be sure that there's there isn't any in the open source software? Oh, that's uh. So he says, how do we ensure that there's no uh, virus or uh, malicious code in the source, you know, open source software? Uh, it's quite simple because you have the source code, then because you make the source code public. Then you, you. It's likely that you don't. You are not willing to, you no, know, to make the the secret thing public. So if you have the source code that is public, people may find the the problems that you want to do. So the the malicious code that you want to to have. have. <coughs> Any questions? Yes. Um, but I, um, I had my one of my friends just can type his name on the university web page homepage. But how did she do that? Achieve that? Oh, um, you mean? Um, just one of my friend can write his uh, name on the homepage of one university website. So you mean he hacked into it? It's just a kind of hackering or something. Oh, you mean hackers? Is it? Um, I think the difference between the hacker the, the, and the open source is that in the open source uh, world, you have to you get permission from someone else, and the, that people give you the permission. Like he allowed you to do it, but people like hackers or pri pri uh, privacy uh, piracy, you the hacker may not get you. Uh, permission to get into computers, so that's illegal. So in a sense, same way, uh, what's the difference between the open source code and the piracy? Piracy means you don't have the license, you don't have the permission, and you copy it. That's, that's piracy. But it's open source, you have the permission that people allow you to download, copy it, to modify it. So that's very different. Thank you. Did I answer your questions? Hmm? Did I answer your questions? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So time is up. Thank you for your attention. Okay, you guys, please. Uh